Hey guys, welcome back to another week in outfits. So I'm pretty excited because it is now spring, which is probably my favorite season. I kind of love autumn and spring for the fact that you can wear everything in your wardrobe just about. Uh, so for me, it kind of means a lot more layering opportunities and it means that I can wear you know, like I said, I can wear pretty much everything that I have. Uh, so today is Monday um, and I'm just about to head out. I've got to run a few errands um, and yeah, it's quite beautiful and sunny. We've got the odd cloud, but it's just really beautiful weather right now. So um, outfit wise, earrings, I'm just wearing some little uh, earrings from Pandora. Oh, my lipstick. Actually, I thought I should probably just mention because... Um, I do love my reds and I always forget which one I'm wearing. The one I'm wearing is from YSL today. It is the Tatouage Couture Matte Stain in the shade number one. It doesn't have a name, so I love these. Uh, they're really kind of liquidy when you apply them and then they dry very matte and they don't budge. <laughs> the rest of the jewelry that I'm wearing is just my little Muru jewelry chain. This one is the Tarnit coin on the 20 inch chain and then I also have on a bracelet which mum gave me when I turned 21 and uh, this was from a Greek jeweler. Then you have to forgive the mess behind me. I've been filming an IGTV and I sort of rearranged the whole bedroom just so that I can do it. Uh, but the top that I'm wearing is from Grana. This is one of their men's striped tees and I actually was doing an order for Luke just to pick him up some new work trousers and some swim shorts because um, they do a length that he really likes and I saw that they had these for about $25 so I have it in the black and white. I really enjoy it it because it's such a heavyweight cotton so I thought I would grab it in the white and blue and actually Luke liked it so I got him one too so we're matching <laughs> um, because this is quite oversized I've tucked it into something that's a bit more fitted at the waist that gives me a bit more definition this is my J Crew denim skirt which I bought a few years ago when I was in Dallas absolutely love this I love the raw hem um, one of my favorites to pull out this time of year uh, yeah you can kind of see I've thrown a cardigan over my shoulders I feel like this is such a trend at the moment and it's just in case it gets a little bit cool this is a cashmere cardigan from a brand called to serve with love which is no longer available it uh, went um, under years ago and um, then my shoes are my Mariam Nasa Zeta, um, I butcher this every time, MNZ Palmer Sandals. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen when I unboxed these. And uh, I'd been wanting to purchase these for a few years, but they are so expensive. I managed to get them about 60% off, so I thought I would finally snap them up. Uh, they're really comfortable, as you can kind of see. They don't sit perfectly across my foot because they do have quite wide feet and a bunion, but um, they don't dig in or anything. Love wearing them. And then my bag is my Kuyana tote bag just so I can carry lots of things with me. So that's my full outfit today. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday. Um, I've just got to quickly head down to the shops to pick up some things. We've run out of milk, so um, I just thought I would quickly share my outfit. After that, I've just got a whole lot of work to do today. I've got a couple of campaigns that I'm working on for clients that I really need to get done today. Starting with my earrings, I'm wearing my Holly J pearl earrings. I love these. I've got a few different types of earrings like this. I just sort of alternate them depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, necklaces wise, I'm wearing my Maru jewelry. I think this is a necklace chain and the 16 inch with the beaded chain here. And then also a Majuri shell necklace, which I love. This is on the shortest length. It comes down quite long. Then ring wise, I'm just wearing a simple gold ring uh, from Linya. I've gone for a bit of an all black look, but hopefully you'll be able to kind of see the detail. So my t-shirt that I'm wearing today is from Redan. These are horrendously expensive. However, I have to say they're my favorite t-shirts. I think they're well worth it. Um, this black one was gifted to me. I bought it in the white and I wear them loads. They're probably my most worn t-shirts. But if you want something a little bit more affordable, I would say um, I really like the Mottenbow ones. I have the basic tee in a couple of different colors and they're really soft and they wash really well. Uh, the dress that I'm wearing is my Mato dress, which you might have seen me kind of share on my Instagram a while back. Um, I've been wanting this for a really long time. I thought it would be a perfect sort of summer dress, something that I can transition as well because it is black and you can easily layer stuff underneath like I've done today uh, to actually give it some shape just because it is just a 
big sack sort of a dress. I'm very comfortable though. Oh, it's got pockets too, which is amazing. I think all dresses should have pockets. I've cinched it in at the waist with this very old belt from Karen Walker. This is navy with a gold buckle. I've had this since I was about 20, so over 10 years now, it's held up really well. Uh, then on my feet, I'm wearing my MNZ Palmer sandals again. I'm really enjoying wearing these and I sort of see them as being a uh, piece I reach for a lot over the spring and summer. The bag that I'm using today is my JW Anderson bag. I don't really know if I've talked about this much on my channel, but um, I'd been wanting this for a while and it popped up on sale. So I actually finally decided to splurge. I'd purchased it previously, but the bag didn't come with the shoulder strap. So I had to return it. This was a couple of years ago. If you want me to do sort of a what's in my bag or anything like that on it let me know as I'm happy to film that then the final piece of my outfit is my Evelyn denim chore jacket um, I really love how soft and lived in the denim is on this and it's a really nice rich blue um, I've just kind of got this throw on over my shoulders in case I get cold so that is a look at the full outfit for Tuesday I'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is Wednesday today it is an absolutely beautiful day so definitely feel like I'm making the most of it with my outfit I actually might spend some time working outside if I can um, just under the pergola because it's partially shaded uh, in terms of my outfit what I'm wearing um, my earrings are from Madewell these are old however they did kind of redo them without the little pearl um, I really love them. They're super comfortable to wear and they're sort of what I reach for when I want to wear a hoop. But it's something that is maybe um, a little bit more fun. I'm again wearing my little shell necklace from Majuri, which hopefully you can see the detail there. Uh, I really like the length on this. This is again at the shortest length. Then the other jewelry I'm wearing is a Majuri, uh, this is a double wrap chain bracelet which i really love and then i also have on this pandora ring which is from sort of one of their newer collections i love how sparkly it is so pretty then outfit wise i'm wearing this t-shirt from Everlane, which i've just knotted here at the waist which has exposed a little bit of my midriff not something i would normally do but because it's warm i actually really like the way it looks with the skirt that i'm wearing this is from staple the label and it's a really fun gingham ruffle skirt that Actually, very kindly um, sent this to me and I feel like this is gonna be one of those things I wear a lot over the summer I really like high-low hemlines and my mum never really enjoyed them but I personally always love the way that they look uh, and it's actually a faux wrap style which is great because you aren't gonna end up exposing anybody um, then the bag that I'm using today is my Everlane mini day tote I love the size of this and the fact that you can carry it as a top handle or a crossbody and then my shoes are my ATP Atelier uh, little double strap sandals these are really comfortable I find they have a very solid leather sole so there's no padding or cushioning in the sole but um, I find them fine they just aren't the kind of shoe I would wear to walk for hours and hours and hours in as you can see I was thinking about wearing red shoes <laughs> but ended up going for the safe black option so that is a look at my um, full outfit today hey guys it's Thursday today um, it's about mid-morning right now I just went for a run before it heated up too much it's another really beautiful day super sunny here in Sydney loving this um, I'm just gonna be working from home so um, I've gone for a really relaxed sort of uh, casual but also chic outfit I think um, in terms of earrings I'm just wearing my little linear these are the Kirsten huggy earrings I believe you can actually take the little pearl off which I think is really cool if you just want the huggy my necklace that I'm wearing is my Missima Mini Molten necklace, which I love. I've got this on the shortest length. Then in terms of other jewelry, I am just wearing my my linear watch and also bracelet that mum gave me when I turned 21. The shirt that I'm wearing today is a black silk shirt from Lily Silk. I actually did a collaboration with them and loads of you were asking me how I compare their silk to Everlane. So I'm actually going to show you a side by side, but I really like this, especially this black one. It is super oversized. I want the medium and it's really comfortable to wear despite it being warm. I've kind of done that half tuck thing. So this panel is loose as is the back but I've just tucked in this other part by unbuttoning a few buttons and then I'm wearing it with a navy Marks and Spencer skirt which I'm really hoping you can see the difference in color here uh yeah maybe that's a little bit better sorry it's really hard with lighting especially when you're wearing all black um on my feet I'm just wearing my Dior Jadior Dior Slingback flats 
you can tell I need a bit of sun. My legs are very pale right now. My bag of the day is going to be my Celine Trotter bag. And that is kind of how it looks worn. So let me just step back so you can see the full outfit today. There you go. And now I'm just going to show you the blouses. So I've actually set them up both on the bed so you can kind of get um, a sense. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there is a huge difference in the texture. So the Everlane Silk Blouse is wash silk, which means that it has almost a suede texture to it. It almost looks rough on camera, but it's not. It's very sort of smooth to the touch. Whereas the Lily Silk Blouse is a smooth silk. So this actually just, it feels silky. Um, and so for me, I think it's a lot about personal preference, whether you prefer a wash silk or if you prefer a smooth silk. The other thing probably to mention is that wash silk is a little bit more high maintenance. So I have put this one through the wash and you can kind of see, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it doesn't have quite the same uh, suede effect that it would when it is brand new. Um, this one here won't have that effect. So when you put it in the wash, it's just going to look exactly the same. And I don't know if you can tell here in terms of how thick it is, but the Everlane one is markedly sheerer, so you can really see the hanger through. So hopefully that'll give you a sense. And also let's just give you a little close up of the buttons here. So they've got those little mother of pearl buttons and they have similar ones here on the Lily Silk Blouse. These ones are just more white. I mean, this is more of an ivory and this is white, so. Hopefully that'll give you a sense of them side by side. In terms of sizing, I always find Everlane runs large. So I wear the silk blouse in a size two, whereas I wear the Lily Silk one in a size small. Although like I mentioned, the one I'm wearing today is a medium. If you do have any other questions about these blouses, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, I think if you ask me, I would say, I actually think I prefer the Lily Silk ones just because they are a smoother texture. They're low maintenance, which for me is something that I seem to be prioritizing a lot at the moment. <laughs> I'd rather not have to go to the dry cleaners just to launder something um, and it's also that additional cost which adds up over time so you really have to think about that when you're making your purchase um, but otherwise I mean I think the quality is pretty much on par the Lily Silk one is just slightly heavier weight um, they have very similar cuts as well of both brands so I think a lot of it comes down to your preference in terms of the type of silk and also the color that you want too because they offer different color options so yeah, um, like I said, feel free to ask me questions. That's it from me today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys, it's Friday today. It is just after midday. I spent my morning working on some client campaigns. So I completely rearranged the room <laughs> to shoot some photos and things like that, but it's all done. I'm gonna end up spending the rest of my afternoon editing, I think. And actually tonight I'm going out with some of my girlfriends for drinks. So um, I'll probably change up my outfit a little bit it's 27 degrees, so it's a really beautiful day, but I do find it is still kind of cool in the house. So um, I feel like my outfit kind of reflects that. Um, earring wise, I'm wearing my little Majuri editor hoops. Now I will say I left these on the bench in the bathroom and they have tarnished just a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if they got water on them directly or if it's just from the humidity, but I did want to mention that. I do also have on my linear watch and my Majuri chain. And then under here, I have on my little mirror jewelry. Uh, this is Venus necklace. Please don't mind the mess in the background. Um, so this is, I think, the first day this week that I'm wearing color. Um, and actually, I am trying to make more of an effort to wear a little bit more color this spring, just because I actually really like reds. I really like these sort of peachy colors, quite kind of muted shades are definitely my jam. And I feel like they help to elevate my otherwise very basic neutral wardrobe. So this sweater is from Alice McCall. They actually really kindly invited me to do a preview of their warehouse sale and they gifted me a voucher. Um, I actually ended up spending a little bit of my own money as well because I saw so many beautiful things, but this was one of the items that I got and I think it's probably my favorite. So it's a very light, almost sheer knit and it has a little bit of a speckled, kind of I guess gradiated pattern so it's got peach but then it's got almost like lighter pale yellows and oranges through it which I really love and it also has on the side here so it's quite long I've just kind of tucked it into the front of my shorts it's got these little hooks so you can hook it the whole way up that's how long it is my shorts are my Dr. Denim shorts I love the style and if they still have them, I'll link them below, but they're fantastic. They're so comfortable and really good quality. 
my shoes more color my Everlane editor flats in persimmon I love this color I just think it is so summery so happy it's kind of like I don't know a red lip color that I adore as well um I also got my my Celine Trotter bag as well which you will have seen me using yesterday so let's give you a full peek at today's outfit so this is kind of what I'm going to be wearing editing for the afternoon and yeah like I said I'll probably swap out the shorts for kind of my J Crew white denim mini skirt which um maybe I can put a photo of on screen and then I will probably just put on some black pumps or something like that so that's it from me today I will see you guys tomorrow it's Saturday today um, and it's kind of mid-morning. I'm about to head out to go and meet one of my girlfriends for a coffee. Um, it should be really nice to catch up because it's been a while since I saw her. Uh, otherwise, for the rest of the day, it's going to be so chill. I'm so glad it's the weekend. It's actually quite windy at the moment. It's gotten a little bit cool again. Uh, so I might have to throw on a coat as I leave the house. But I thought I'd give you a look at my um, outfit that I've got on right now. Accessories wise, I just have a necklace on. I'm wearing my Missima interstellar necklace then the t-shirt that i'm wearing which i've just kind of tucked into a skirt is from frame it's just in a really nice mild gray i have on my mvn the label black slip skirt i really love the cut of this i just think it's very kind of flattering and easy to wear the cardigan that i'm wearing is one of my pre-loved purchases it's a vince cardigan and i love how cozy this is it just has the nicest weave to the fabric as well which i think makes it feel really special and then on my feet i am wearing my dior slingback flats so i wanted something that looked a little bit smart but that was still really comfortable and then my bag is just going to be my everlane mini day tote today i really like the size of this and the fact that it can be worn crossbody i think it's really handy so if you have it that is the outfit of the day for saturday just one more day in the week i'll see you guys tomorrow it is Sunday and it's actually quite late on in the afternoon. I've had just the most amazing day down at the Royal National Park with my friend Nikita. I've been wanting to go back there for a really long time. I went there for the first time years ago with Luke's parents and we did a bit of a hike. But it's a bit difficult to drag Luke down there because you aren't able to take your dogs, which I completely understand and appreciate. It's all about trying to protect the National Park um, and dogs can um, destroy some of the natural flora and fauna and also disturb the um, natural wildlife that lives there. So um, anyway... We did that. It was amazing. Maybe I can put some photos up here or here. Uh, but we did the Eagle Rock Walk. So it's a pretty easy walk. It's about three hours return. A bit less actually. But we stopped for lunch when we got there. Um, just sort of sitting at the waterfall which was really lovely. And then we also went to Watamala Beach which was great. And I had no idea there was a beach there. So we were sort of wishing that we had brought our togs along with us. Um, now I actually need to go to the supermarket because I forgot to pick up a few things when I was there on Friday. So I just sort of thrown something on. I'm going to show you my outfit and then sign off for the week. So no accessories. So I'm just wearing a super oversized sweater from Divinius, which I'm partnering with them on a video. If it's live, I will look it up in the cards and in the description box below. Uh, this is a size small and it's really oversized. It's quite long. It comes to around here. But I just love how cozy it is. I have very, very loosely tucked that into a slip skirt. This is from MVN The Label. It's just a really easy throw-on skirt. I like how lightweight it is. Um, and it's kind of nice for the weather that we've got at the moment. My flats are my Charlotte Olympia Kitty flats. Again, just enjoying wearing them. And the transitional season is a really great opportunity for me to whip them out. And then my bag is my Kuyana half moon bag i am planning on doing a review on this bag just because i've had a request too so um if that is up i'm not i don't know if it will be but i will link that down below but it's just good for carrying all the essentials so that is a look at my final outfit of the week i hope you guys enjoyed this one um let me flip the camera around <laughs> thank you guys as always for watching like i said i really hope you enjoyed this one i would love to know what your favorite outfit was um that's always something i find interesting to read down in the comment section below and i will see you very soon with a brand new video bye, bye.